Hello, this is Kevin with 3G Store, and today we're going to take a look at the Pepwave Surf Soho and how to upgrade the firmware. The first thing you'll need to do is connect to your Surf Soho either by Ethernet to one of the available LAN ports on the back of your router, or to connect over the Wi-Fi. Once you've done that, you will open up a web browser and navigate to 192.168.50.1. That's the default administration interface for your Soho. Once you're there, you'll see the screen that's in the background and you'll be asked for a username and password. By default, these are both set to admin. Once you have those in, you'll click login and you'll be at the router's dashboard page. The dashboard page on the router gives you an overview of your network and it tells you what internet connections are currently active. Right now we have our internet active for WAN 1 and it says we're connected. That means our Surf Soho is online. To do a firmware upgrade, you're going to click System on the top and Firmware on the left hand side. Because our Surf Soho is online, it shows us already that a new version of firmware is available. On the top, you can see we're currently running 6.0.2 and 6.0.3 is available for download. There's a couple different things you can do to make sure you see this, one of them being check again if you have an active internet connection. If you don't have an active connection, you can always download the firmware separately from visiting Peplink's website. Once you have that file downloaded, you'll click the Browse button, navigate to the file, and click Manual Upgrade. For our purposes, we're going to do the simplest option and click Download and Upgrade, and let this run automatically. When you click this, you'll get a pop-up that says you're advised to download the active configuration before upgrade. Configuration is just a backup file that has all of your Surf Soho settings in there, just in case something were to happen. Typically this isn't an issue, so it's not something you need to do, however you can do that if you like. Once you've made your choice, it'll ask you sure you want to upgrade the firmware, simply click OK. From there, it's going to load a window that tells you it is uploading to the newest version of firmware. This process will take anywhere from 7 to 10 minutes, depending on the speed of your internet connection where you're upgrading from. We're going to go ahead and let this run in. I'll do a quick fast forward here so you can see the process. After a few minutes, you'll be presented with a screen that has a progress bar to tell you how long until the firmware upgrade is complete. It's important to remember that you should not be using your Soho for any type of web browsing activity right now, as it is going to be shutting down on its own. Once your firmware upgrade hits 90%, you'll be presented with a message that says rebooting. Your Surf Soho is going to be shutting down and turning back on at this point. It's important to remember that you should not be doing any other type of web browsing or touching anything within your browser. After a few seconds and your Soho's back online, it will say completed and will have a blue link to bring you back to the dashboard screen. Go ahead and click on that and it will bring you back to either the dashboard or the login page depending on your web browser. Go ahead and use that admin admin for your username and password and log back in. And from the dashboard, you'll just want to verify that you are on the newest build of firmware. That's going to be right on device information and it says firmware and you can see we're now on 6.0.3 build 1257. At this point the upgrade process is complete, your Soho is up to date and you can continue your regular usage. For more information visit 3gstore.com surfsoho and for more videos like this be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.